Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Here we go on ESPN. It's time to head under the bubble in Indianapolis. The Big Horseshoe is where we'll find Dan, Peter, and Susie. They get set to bring you what looks like a good matchup. Jacksonville Jaguars, Indianapolis Colts. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hi there, everybody. I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the RCA Dome. My colleague here in the commentary booth is Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have a solid tackler on defense who does an excellent job pursuing the ball. No doubt about that, Dan. These guys do an outstanding job of reading the offense and ripping it to shreds. Marcus Stroud is regularly referred to as the best defensive lineman in all of the NFL. This guy is totally focused. When he's on the field, he is in the game. You won't see him making very many mistakes. Warming up across the field is another tremendous football player. Dwight Freeney is clearly one of the most overpowering defensive ends in the league. He's a talented pass rusher, and over the course of a game, Dan, he'll keep getting in the backfield, keep puts a lick on the receiver, and Jimmy separates Smith. him from the ball. Incomplete. Number 58. Peter, Luke unfortunately, Sikora. we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. As we can see here, we've got the injuries that have accrued over the season, and let me tell you, each one of these guys was hard to lose. Injuries are a fact of life in the NFL. You have to push on and field the best team possible. Smith reels first in the football, Jaguars. and they get the first on third and long. First and oh, 10. look here. He's crossed the 11,000-yard oh, play, I tell you. What a stop on fourth down. It's worth another look. Can't convert. They will forfeit the ball on down. Cato matched up well with the defense on this one, but is able to stay one step ahead for the completion. It's worth another look here. Oh, yeah, the D might want And down. the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Brandon Stoke, Deion Grant, picked up a bundle after the interception. He's going to get his offense off to a good start here. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Pulled at the 24. Peyton, why can't you be more like your dad? <laughs> But watch here what he does after the completion. Caught and now fights the left and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Ernest Wilford and picks up a couple. Fred Taylor played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. Not much there. It'll be second down. Leftwich throws a beauty to the right side, and they get the first on third. And first and Look at those stats. That's the definition of a stat. Boy, they get some good yardage out of this one, Dan, and they do it a number of good ways. Good line blocking, good downfield blocking, and a nifty... Gets in for the score. Down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. For the first down and a whole lot more. Troy Walters gets the sack at the 22. Hugh Douglas is a defenseman that I like. 6'2", 281, and someone who loves to stop a play in the backfield. <laughs> Can't ask for anything more than that. Peyton Manning throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. He fires, catches it over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Launches this one perfectly, and the D was nowhere to be found. You got that right. Missed coverage all around. That's right. And he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Manning makes the throw after the play action fake, and the catch is made at the 14. Touchdown!
ineligible receiver downfield. Number 63, offense. Repeat first down. Left side of the line, so he was an ineligible receiver. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Jaguars are out in. John Henderson nails the offense with a huge loss. Watch how he zeroes in on the target. Ouch. Oh, he's Henderson Henderson gets the sack, the sack way back at the 49. Second and 24. Well, look at last year's stats there. That's Powell gets the sack deep in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push him back, way back. Great defensive play. That's good. Oh, Chases him down and gets the sack at the 47. Oh, this man gets some yards on the play, but then he stopped him. Let's check it out. Yeah, he saved the play by tackling him before the marker. And Peter, he reminds me a little of a... Of a catches the hard throw, and he's well short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Donovan gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points. To the goal post. Good. Mike Van Third down. Watch the pass, watch the pass. Wow, look at last year's stats. Down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. What's made past the markers for a first down? Reggie Williams. That's good for six. Reggie Williams took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. A decent play, and they'll now face... Not take no for an answer. Watch this play where he makes the catch, and then knifes ahead for plenty more. That's broken kind of a... Finally stopped at the 16. That will bring up first down. Jimmy... First and goal. Ball at the four-yard line. Perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. End zone and it's caught for a touchdown. Come on, it up, baby. Byron Leftwich. It's good. Is this one perfectly, and the D was nowhere to be found. He grabs right the bullet, touchdown, and Downs. It's good. <laughs> Ballard doesn't let a little thing like double coverage stop him from snagging a football. A beautiful pickup. Really rifles this pass, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. He guys covering him. But look what happens. Incredible catch. That's the second long ball he's reeled in today. One long ball. And oh. he's got the first down and a whole lot more. <laughs> Shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's cut for the Go. score. Marvin Harrison has. Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Look at the drive results, and you can see that they're getting it done and have punched the ball into the end zone. Nice work so far. Interception. Check his position out to make the grab. Got it. Boy. Brought down at the one. It'll be first and goal. Some smash mouth football here. Bam! What a parries it for the third time and touchdown Colts. gets the touchdown. Good. It's good.
Bears into traffic. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Okay, let's go. They can't connect. Incomplete. to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. A look inside the numbers from our first half and look at the discrepancy in sacks thus far. The Jaguars should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow... They've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Byron Leftwich would find his target on this one. The Colts on D, ball at the 22-yard line. Deion Grant is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Jags midway through the first, Ernest Wilford is going to find an opening in the secondary, and he'll exploit it here. They strike first and go up by seven. The Colts answer right back. Mike Vanderjag get the call for the lengthy field goal attempt, and he would, in fact, deliver a 49-yard field goal. Colts losing 7-3. to three. Byron Leftwich would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 24-yard play that set up a Jaguar touchdown. The Jaguars move ahead by 11. The Jags midway through the second. Goal to go situation. Byron Leftwich needed to be on target here, and he was. A three-yard touchdown for the Jaguars. The Colts late into the second quarter. Colts back by 18. Hayden Manning connected with his man on this one. They finally get on the board, and they are now down by 11. The Jags still late in the half. David Thornton was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Jags ahead, 21 to 10. Edger and James got the carry as they pounded at him on the ground and he made the most of it. A one-yard touchdown for the Colts. And that's where we'll leave this one. Colts are down, but still in it. 21 to 17. It's time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Jimmy Smith has played like a man possessed. So that'll do the three. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turned the ball over leaps out at me, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. We juggle bowling balls, or wide receivers for that matter. All right. James will get the carry okay. on second right. down. Three guys covering him on this play, and he still made the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a Fine, and as well past the markers for a first down. Jimmy Smith. Another grab here Rose in the third, in and he's been working oh, hard. Throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hand. And as well, past the markers for a first down. First down, Jaguar. Big day so far. First you bet so far he's got 188 oh, yards. Reggie Williams nabbed the football away from three. Has made well past the markers for a first down. Who can make that Second tackle? Ball at the three. Field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Just makes it inside the left upright. Josh Stobie. The 20. Hunt it down at the 22. It will be first down. Sideline, and that's good for six. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, you can see the injuries that they've racked up this year. When you get hit like this, the training staff has to do their best to get those who are sidelined back in as soon as possible. But injuries are going to happen. There's just no way around. Man, it passes this one. Play action, and it's caught at the 34. And he stopped right there. It will be first down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. How many fingers am I holding up? Come on. Okay, okay. Let's take him off. Let's take him off. Let's get him out of here. Come on. Hold. 
Najee Wayne makes one beauty of a play here. He catches the football, but he sees he's got some room to move, and he ends up in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Colt. at the five. All right, man. Cool. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it. First and ten. Look, Dan. Great receiving yards there. That gains five on the play, and that brings up first down. First down, Jaguar. Second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Mike Goss knows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football. At the 32. On the... Edrin James nabbed the football away from three defenders in his area. That's got to feel good. That is only his first catch of the game, believe it or not, and it took all the way into the end. Picks James, up a couple. Powell had to leave the field earlier in the, the game, and now Susie Kalber has a report. Mm. Susie? Thanks, Dan. The team doctor's mm. diagnosis is yeah, that he suffered a concussion. Uh, they this one out beautifully. That's how you throw the ball game. Take notes all you want to be quarterback. Right on the money, Peter. He is just a fantastic passer. He catches it left sideline and as well past the markers for a first down. Peyton May one on one on this play and beats his man. He executed that pass pattern. And touchdown. Touchdown, Colt. First down, tight end to the left. Ball at the 47. But that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. Peter, the touchdown puts them in prime position for the score. Wow, look at that TD stick. Marvin Harrison had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. Yeah, and I hope the catch is made for the first. The clock continues to tick down. Well, those are some impressive numbers. Look at those receiving. Rips him down in the backfield, and the clock continues to run. On this play, running out of bounds to stop the clock, really the best thing he could have done to help his team. That would have been the nail in the coffin had he not gone out of bounds. And that will stop the clock at seven. It'll be first and goal. Edring or air threat here. Let's see what they do, Dan. It's good. Tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Partner Peter O'Keefe. This is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Colts stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Byron Leftwich connected with his man on this one. That set up an extra point like 19 yard field goal. The Colts come right back, the ball at the 45. Reggie Wayne came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 44-yard touchdown for the Colts. Game tied, 24 all. Mike Doss would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. 
the Colts have it off an interception, Peyton Manning would drop back and put one right on the money. A seven-yard touchdown for the Colts. Colts winning 31-24. Reggie Williams found a soft spot on the defense and have worked to his advantage. A 17-yard touchdown for the Jaguars. The Jaguars tie it up again, 31 all. The Colts trying to answer back, Peyton Manning would find his target on this one. A 26-yard play that set up a Colt touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Colts squeaked out a win, 38-31. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Peyton Manning was kind enough to give us a moment of his time, and he's on the field with Susie Calvert. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You really showed up today, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? I really think our linebackers played well today. They're reading the plays, getting after the ball. Man, look like a pack of wild dogs out there. They played big time today, so yeah, I gotta tip my cap to them. Chris, back to you. With that, thanks.